I just recently watched Love Reset because I miss Kang Hanul's iconic smile. I thought I would be watching another race rom-com K-movie and feel the disappointment I experienced when I watched The Dream of Ayu and Sujun. But nah, this one is better. Love Reset is about Jung Yul and Nara who defy their family's disapproval and get married because they were so in love with each other. Fast forward two years, reality sets in, the couple struggles with their differences, and they slowly grow apart. They filed for divorce, but then they were given 30 days to think things through. But then, they had an accident that left them both with amnesia. With no memory of their marital woes, jung Yil and Nara find themselves attracted to each other all over again. Their families, desperate to see the divorce through, tried to jog their memories. The movie follows the couple's rediscovery of love and explores whether their initial spark can reignite amidst the amnesia-induced second chance. It's a humorous and heartwarming exploration of love, communication, and the challenges of maintaining a marriage. Hano and Sumin are a perfect comedic duo to play this role. They're just naturals. But aside from the story being funny, it also poked some of my brain cells, if I have any, and made me think, do all marriages like that? Is it all about fireworks and butterflies at the start, only for everything to go haywire somewhere in the middle? Truth is, yes. The beginning is often a glorious explosion of passion. You're consumed by a love that feels invincible. A love that promises a future painted in the brightest hues. Every touch sends shivers down our spine. Every glance is silent promise of forever. It's a beautiful, intoxicating madness. But then, as with all things, reality sets in. The dishes pile up in the sink, commutes become mundane, and conversations veer towards gross realists and bills. There will be arguments. The butterflies take flight, replaced by coforte, yet sometimes unsettling silence. Is this part gone? Have we fallen out of love? Here's a beautiful secret. Love in its truest form isn't about maintaining a constant state of euphoria. It's about building a life together, brick by emotional brick. It's about weathering the storms hand in hand and emerging stronger. It's about learning to appreciate the quiet moments. The shared laughter over a silly movie, the comfort of a warm embrace after a long day, the unspoken understanding that binds the two souls together. Marriage is a journey, sometimes a long one. There will be moments when the path seems obscured by fog, when doubts creep in and the fireworks fizzle out. But within the embers of that, initial passion lies a deeper, more enduring flame. It's the flame of commitment, of shared dreams, of a love that has matured and deepened over time. Think of a candle. The initial flame burns bright, illuminating the room. But over time, the wax melts, the flame flickers. Yet with proper care, with the occasional trimming of the wick, and a steady supply of fuel, the candle continues to provide light, a comforting beacon in the darkness. I think marriage is like that. A candle. It requires constant care, a willingness to nurture the flame, and understanding that true love isn't a fleeting feeling, but a commitment that grows stronger with each passing year. It's about choosing each other every single day. Even when the butterflies have flown away, because in the end, the most beautiful love stories aren't written in the first flush of passion, but in the moments of enduring commitment, the unwavering support. So let the fireworks fade, let the butterflies take flight, for in the embers that remain lies a love far more enduring, a love that burns bright long after the initial spark has ignited is a genuine love, a love I hope we will all experience one day.